Hello friends, so now we are going to see the data entry using C function and scan function. Now, in statistic, in theoretical way, we see, we operate on what? Data. We find the mean, mode, median, frequency distribution, histogram, ojayu curve. This concept we cover in the theory part, right? So, uh, to cover, uh, to find, suppose for example, frequency distribution, we need data, right? Okay. So, to perform your data analysis, we need to enter those data into your R, right? So, to enter this data into R, we are going to use your C and scan function. With using your C function and scan function, we are going to create a vector or you can say we are able to store multiple values into the single variable, okay? In previous session, we seen what? We stored n number of values into the variable, but we stored only one number or one name into one variable. Now, for example, suppose I want to perform a frequency distribution on 50 number of student. So, uh, am I going to cre uh, create 50 variables? No. So, we are able to store this 50 values into the single variable using this C function and the scan function which is used to create a vectors. Okay. Now, for example, if I want to create a, a vector called uh, even number, I can give a variable name as what? Even underscore name is what my variable name in which I am going to store the even numbers. Okay. Now, your assignment symbol means what? It is going to uh store the values into that even number okay then we're going to write what your c function okay this is your c function so we're going to write c now always remember your function name should be in the lower case your function name should be in the lower case okay if you write a capital c it will throw you an error that object not found okay because it is predefined already in your r and it is predefined in a lower case only. So, that's why always remember whenever you are going to write a function name, write a function name in a small case only. Okay. So, C, open a bracket. Okay. And we are going to provide all the numbers which we want to store in even number. Okay. So, as the name suggests, your variable name suggests, that is what we are going to create a vector of even numbers. So, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, these are the even numbers. Okay. So, we are going to write the values into the bracket and each value is separated by comma. Okay. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. After writing this line, we are going to execute it. Okay, how to execute? First, select the line and click on run button. Okay, now you are able to see that in console, we are able to uh, see the line. Okay, even number, assignment symbol, C uh, in bracket 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, so I want to see what is stored in even number. So, how to see? Print even underscore no okay so from after this execution of this line you will be able to see your output okay 2 4 6 8 and 10 okay now we can create a vector of a character type also okay so here we are creating a vector of a fruits okay so we are going to give a name as a fruits okay your assignment symbol then your C, that is what your function name, it is very important to write your function name, otherwise it will not perform anything. So, always remember to write down your function name, that is C, then open a bracket, inside that bracket we are going to pass your values, okay. Now, as I said, if you want to uh, store a string or character type of value inside one variable, you need to mention in a double code. So, that's why. You're going to write all the values in a double code. So, double code, apple, mango, strawberry, banana, grapes. Okay. And each value is separated by what? Comma. Okay. Now, we're going to execute all these both lines. Okay. Now, you'll be able to see the uh, string which is stored in uh, or a vector which is stored in a fruit variable, fruits variable. Okay. So, the apple, mango, strawberry, banana and grapes. Okay. Now, if you want to create a mixed type of vector, you want integer as well as you want your uh, string, uh, character type of data, you can do that also. So, here we use a C function. 
right okay so this is opening bracket of your first c function the again we write a second c function okay and in that we're going to store your even numbers right each uh, number is separated by comma your bracket complete and next parameter uh, next values will be your roots name okay so after printing this line you'll be able to see the mixed type of vector of what your uh, numbers as well as your characters okay so the difference is that whenever we uh, printed that even number it was what a integer type of vector but in a mix we are able to see that the 2 4 and 6 8 values are in a double code so your r is going to consider that 2 4 6 8 as what character not a integer okay after that we have another function called c function so uh, what are the points to remember using c function we are able to store multiple values into the single variable okay so how are you going to write it write for c that is your function name open a round bracket after opening round bracket give the provide the values which which you want to enter in the specific variable okay and each value is separated by what comma okay so if you want to create a vector of a string or a character type of a data you're going to write each string or a characters in a double code and again each value is separated by a comma this is about what your c function now scan function scan function is going to accept the values on a in a run time okay so suppose if i execute this line okay so i want to store what odd numbers okay i want to store odd numbers using your scan function as i said it is going to accept the value you in uh, in a run time so we're going to write this line for example odd dot no miss what we're going to store the odd numbers assignment symbol your scan function name scan opening closing round bracket just like here c you are not going to pass the values into the bracket okay then we're going to execute this line okay now you are able to see that you are now you are able to see that after executing this line uh, on a console huh? see your console screen okay after executing your odd dot no assignment symbol scan it is asking you for the first entry okay so you are going to enter the data in a console now there are two ways you can enter the values okay uh, or you can uh, separate the two values for example if i want to enter what odd number so one enter okay after pressing enter button it is asking me asking me to enter a second value so suppose three again i'm going to press enter okay now it is asking me to enter a fifth value so a third value so i'm going to enter five okay next it is asking me to enter a fourth value for example seven okay now that's it i don't want to enter another values now okay so again i will press enter but it is asking me what your fifth value now i don't want to enter any value so again simply i'm going to press enter button okay and it says read four item means what your uh, odd number has read how many values four values so suppose now i want to print this value so i'm going to type odd dot n I'm going to press enter now you are able to see that in your r dot you know we stored one two three one sorry one three five seven values okay this is how your scan works okay as i said we can separate the values using enter button or we can separate the values using space bar also again suppose i'm going to execute this same line okay now again we are entering the odd numbers only okay so i want to enter first number as suppose one okay then i will press space bar instead of enter button okay so next odd number is suppose three okay again i'm going to press space bar 
and next number is what five okay now whether we'll check whether it is considering uh, it will ask us for a fourth value or the second value see it is asking us to enter what fourth value okay means your space bar is working fine okay so your one value is stored at one position third three value is stored at second position five value is stored at what third position now we are going to enter for the fourth value so was your seven again space nine okay now i don't want to enter another numbers okay so i'm simply going to press enter button now it is asking me what sixth number i don't want to enter so again i'm going to press enter button okay so it is saying what read five items okay suppose now i want to print these values i'm going to print in this way all okay now you are able to see that uh, the values which we have entered in on odd dot number it is showing the output of that values okay now after that we going to see the mathematical operation we already seen the mathematical operation so how how many mathematical operators do we have plus minus multiplication division okay your power operator exp exponential log exponential and log are these are the functions okay so suppose uh, we can directly find the addition of two numbers like this way or we can store the two values into the variable and then we can perform the arithmetical operation so here we stored two values in variable for example no1 and no2 in no1 we stored what 9 in no2 we stored what three value okay now we are going to perform arithmetical operation on these two variables okay so i'm just going to run execute these two line okay after executing if you want to see the values of your no1 and no2 you can okay so it is showing you the values which is stored in no1 and no2 okay now what we going to do we going to perform addition suppose i want to store the addition uh, output of addition in one variable so i am going to write addition assignment symbol no1 plus no2 print addition so it is going to print the addition so what will be the addition of 9 plus 3 it will be like what 12 so 12 is an answer right same way we going to perform subtraction subtraction assignment symbol no1 minus no2 okay after execution you will be able to see that the subtraction is what 6 okay 9 minus 3 is what 6 okay again same for the multiplication no1 into no2 now here we don't have in your uh, system you know on your keyboard we don't have a multiplication symbol so we going to use that star as what multiplication huh then division 9 by 3 is equals to what 3 right so it is showing you the output okay now suppose power of your uh, what is it 9 cube right no1 power no2 means what 9 uh, cube of 9 is what 7 to 9 okay then you have exponential and logarithm okay so to find logarithm value you have a log function and for to find exponential value you have a exp function okay now suppose if you want to find the square root of any value so you have sq rt function which is going to find you a square root of value for example what will be the square root of 25 phi okay what will be the square root of suppose um, 9 it will be 3 so you have some inbuilt function which is going to return you the direct output of the uh, values okay so how, what we seen we seen uh, the data entry using c function the data entry using scan function okay then we seen what your arithmetical operation that is addition subtraction uh, multiplication division uh, power operator and then your exponential logarithm and square root thank you